What's up, everybody? It's Jay here, and today I am four years on testosterone, 17th of October, 2019. It is also my 20th birthday, and um, my testosterone day is my birthday and I just want to give you an update over like what has happened over the last two years uh, the reason why it's a two years later update is because I fully thought I had made three years on T video but I looked at my channel and I can't find it so uh, maybe I never did uh, maybe it's been mysteriously deleted by YouTube I don't know but it's not there anymore so I'm going to have to try and remember where I was at the <laughs> last year as well uh, but I'm mainly just going to be talking about like the, the key things that continue to change when you are on testosterone, uh, when you have been on it for four years. Um, the main things I would say to you have continued to change for me um, are facial hair and body hair. I do think that there are other things that are either uh, maintained the same that I would have hoped uh, would have stopped or stuff that some people fear would continue. Uh, so I'll start from the top and I'll work my way down. Um, the thing that I think people are afraid of is losing hair. A lot of the time people are worried about what uh, what's going to happen if they lose their hair. Uh, this is as far back as my hairline has gone and it has been there for probably the last three years. Um, it used to be more like this, like it is for a lot of people when they're pre-T. And so it has moved, but it hasn't um, moved so far back that I've started to get worried about it at all. Um, moving a little bit down, things that have started to change more. Um, here where your beard meets your side burning bits has started to fill out more. And that has been happening for the last few months uh, as well. As you can see, like this is kind of the line at the top of my beard has been like slowly moving up on both sides. And again, this is something that takes time. I do notice that like after every tee shot, I do feel like I get a little bit of a burst of uh, hair somewhere and um, I'm happy with that because it just takes time that's the thing I think sometimes people can be really focused on what happens in the first like first year first two years but like testosterone is a long-term thing it's a slow process and like think about how slow puberty is some people start puberty you know but like before the age of 10 and don't finish until they're like 16 or 17 and like it's it's a longer process than just two years and yes um, a lot happens in the first two years but a lot happens after that as well and um, moving down I know I'm wearing a shirt right now but what I've been noticing recently is my chest hair is continuing to develop uh, prior to that it, it stopped about here but now it stops about here so it's just going kind of moving upwards uh, getting thicker where it already was um, I think it's the same kind of thing for all body hair. It continues to get thicker. It continues to grow into new places. It's the same on my legs. Um, I will note that I haven't had any... I've had any kind of period-esque uh, incidents on, uh, since I was 10 months on tea. And that has stayed the same. Uh, occasionally, um, I would have... And when I say occasionally, I mean like I think once or twice in the last three years. Um, I've had spotting that was like unprovoked uh, by any kind of activities. And um, anytime that's happened, like it's just gone away so quickly that like I'm not particularly worried about it. It's so infrequent that I do think it's just like a bit of a, a nature fluke, I guess. Um, <laughs> In terms of things that I wish would be uh, changing, um, while I never really had particularly bad acne on my face, uh, I have quite bad acne on my back and on the back of my neck. Um, and I thought that was going to go away when I had top surgery because I wouldn't be binding anymore. I thought that was a factor. But unfortunately, that hasn't gone away. Um, and I'll be real, I haven't tried a lot in terms of trying to get rid of it. I haven't been particularly anal about trying to get rid of it simply because it's pretty much impossible to put uh, acne cream on your own back and I don't really want to ask anybody else for help so I've got a bit, a bit of a I'll just put up with it kind of space. So like that's happening uh, but it's not so horrible that I'm like oh woe is me my life is dreadful because now that I've stopped binding it's really just not that annoying anymore because there's no like constant pressure on it at all. So it's just not really a big deal. Um, and I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, I would definitely say that like 
fat redistribution is something that's quite obvious uh you don't really notice it um like over time but like if you look at me when i was like pre-t even a year on t and less so at two years on t like i had a much chubbier cheeked face even though like i don't weigh significantly different to what i did then um so it is it is different it does change over time so that's worth bearing in mind and honestly that's kind of it in that like testosterone continues to affect you as you get older and as you stay on it and those those changes do become more and more minor but they still happen and i just wanted to highlight that they still happen and that like testosterone isn't like a two-year experience it is a longer term experience than that and i wanted to highlight that like you if you're not where you want to be at a year or two years you will probably still get to where you want to be it's just that testosterone takes a long time and if you do have concerns about not seeing the changes that you want to see uh, go back to your doctor and talk to them about it when i was um 10 months on tea i had a dose increase so dose history um i spent four months coming up to full dose on the gel initially because i was 16 at the time um and then i went on to sosnon injections every four weeks and then at 10 months i brought them up to every three weeks so i changed that dose from t four weeks to three weeks because i felt like you know i was still getting periods um i felt like my changes weren't going as fast as they could have been even though they were definitely going faster than they were on gel and blah 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 etc etc and that made a difference so if you are worried about the the rate of change talk to your doctor and they will be able to help you but that is all for today if you like this video please hit the like button down below comment section is open for everyone to be who is curious has any questions about my experience on tea thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye <music>